Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with the Merlot Group. Owen Buttle has joined me, product expert for the brand new eWorker range. We can see it here, folks, uh, which means it's an electric telehandler and there's a range of them here. Owen, really exciting to see this range. Um, the thing that we're talking about when we talk about electric is all the time we're talking about whether the machine has just had a diesel engine put in it or an electric engine put in it and replaced it. This is a product and a range that has actually been built from the ground up. Tell me about the ground up. Yep, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's a very common question that we get asked, uh, but essentially as Merlot Group, we decided that with the technology moving towards battery, that actually it warranted having a bespoke machine built from the ground up that was suitable for electric technology. Um, there's a number of benefits by doing so, uh, but essentially by building a bespoke machine, we've been able to design it around the battery pack uh, to ensure that we can get the biggest capacity possible, which gives us the most running time. And that battery pack is underneath, and it's a lead acid battery because, again, that works for the team because fundamentally what you can do is actually distilled water, top the head up, and you can actually charge it very efficiently. And also, because it's heavy, it's built into the machine. And we'll see later on that the counterweight of a typical machine like this doesn't exist anymore. That's a big decision for you guys, wasn't it? Yep. And it's all about the working hours. Tell me how many hours are you actually getting out of this? Yeah, absolutely, that's the key question. So the working hours on this machine uh, gives you a true eight hour cycle. Right. Okay, so that will give you uh, a full day's work uh, and then the charging cycle is nine hours. And what's interesting about this, folks, is typically these machines are idle on site. They're not working all of the time, you know. And so when you see it on a construction site in particular, this kind of product is sat there waiting for deliveries and things like that. So typically, I'd have thought you could get full day, two days maybe out of a charger? A absolutely. I mean, like you say, it depends how it's being used. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you know, we've seen this technology in industrial forklift trucks. Uh, there'll be some people that are doing 24-hour shifts. Um, in that situation, you can actually remove the battery pack on this machine and uh, replace it with a secondary pack uh, yep. that's ready charged. Right. So, so it is capable of doing 24-hour work, but at the same time, if it is on idle, like a diesel engine machine would be, potentially you may only have to charge it once, twice a week. Now, what people will be really, really excited about from the end user perspective is a new cab. So more spacious cab been designed on here, but don't worry folks, they haven't messed with the controls, have you Owen? It's still yeah. standard Merlot controls yeah. that people are all used to, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely, the main thing for us is that there's familiarity across the range. Yeah. Um, so when you jump into whether it be a 13 metre machine or a compact five metre machine, the controls are all the same, it's the same lever, uh, the forward and reverse systems in the same position, uh, just to make sure that the operator's familiar with that environment. So folks, let's go and see the all important part, part of it. And as we walk around, we see again here with telehandlers, you know, you're looking at moving around sites here, but this is quite compact at the front. Yes. And watch the drivetrain here, <laughs> Owen, at the front, tell us. So the way it works, you can see down here, we've actually got two electric motors. So the front axle is a fixed axle yep. uh, with the two motors there. And again, this machine is offered in a two-wheel drive version or a four-wheel drive version, right. uh, which would give you an additional one on the rear of the machine, which we can see a bit later on. So always, always, we need to discover with an electric machine what's inside the machine. Owen, come and have a look at this. Right, so I'm just going to open up the machine for you folks. Uh, we come around that side for yep. us, Owen. You can point some stuff out. First of all, this is where the magic battery happens and this little tube here is where the distilled water goes in to top it up as part of the servicing folks and of course the most important thing if you can see it down here is the battery connection however uh, Merlot have gone one step further haven't you Owen yep. there's a little cupboard here that could be used for storage or could be used for what Owen uh, yeah so as an option on these machines you can have an onboard charger so essentially that would fit within this compartment here uh, and then essentially your, your three-phase electrics would plug straight into that onboard charger. So again, it's just about making it easy to use, easy for the operator, uh, particularly if this machine's going into a variety of different applications, possibly on site, 
making it as easy as possible to be able to charge the machine. So the innards are all there. We've got protection here as well for all of the clever bits that are in here. Yep. But we talked about the, the fixed nature of, of the, the axle at the front. Yep. That's because something special is happening at the back. Let's have a look at that, folks. So, big shock here from Merlot is, where's the counterweight? We've talked about that before, <laughs> Owen, haven't you? Yep. Big counterweights on machines sometimes, not with the battery and the way it's designed. Yep. But of course, you know, we've got a machine here that has got to move and it's got to twist and turn. So yep. if you look down here, right down here, that's not in the right place if that was fixed, is it? Because, Owen, what's yep. happening here what, with the design of the machine? Yeah, so again, with this machine, to give it that move, removability of a, of a compact telehandler, uh, we've gone down the road of actually having it as a rear wheel steer machine. Right. Um, so again, this is offered in a, in a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive version. The two wheel drive version will actually turn up to 90 degrees on the rear axle. Wow. So it will mean that the machine can actually turn on the spot. Spinning around with the electric is a total different change in perspective about how the industry is working and the e-worker range with Merlot Group is uh, changing those perceptions but also it's been designed from the ground up and that's what I love to see with electric machines because that gives all of the benefits of electric, all of the benefits of that, that acid battery and the longevity and life cycle costing of that as well. But fundamentally for me, great to see another electric machine being brought to the market. And this one is part of a range. Thanks very much, Owen. No problem at all. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.